In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at how to use the fade controls to make an object appear and disappear on the screen. We have another tutorial that shows you how to do the same process using keyframing. But the fade controls, as one user pointed out to me, is a lot quicker way if that's all you want to do. It will create keyframes all on its own. So what I have here on the screen is a very short fictional uh, car commercial. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the five seconds and you'll see what it does. Okay, we, have, we are selling a Mercedes-Benz in Floyd, Iowa. And uh, what we're going to do is we have everything on the screen, but I don't have a picture of the car. So I'm going to drag this picture, put it in track number three, and stretch it to the full length of my clip here. And now I have my picture. Well, it's a little bit too big, so immediately I'm going to resize it, make it a little bit smaller, then I'll reposition it right about something like this. And that's pretty good, that it shows the contrast really nice at that location. And if I play the commercial now, uh, I, I have action on everything but the car because the dealer pops in, the special pops in, the price pops in, all those things. What if I want the car to appear and disappear as well? Well, we, we can use the keyframe control, but a faster way is simply to use the fade in, fade out, which builds keyframes on its own. So I'll do the F2 key to get into my editor of, uh, for the car. And I'm going to look in the object settings. And I simply have a, a feature here called fades. If I click on fades, it will enable a fade in and fade out. If I can click uh, wherever I want it to start fading in. Uh, I can move it maybe right here. It'll fade in. It'll be full, fully faded in at that point in time. And then I can click uh, down here at the very end. We normally wouldn't fade it out, but I'll do it so you can see the control. And it fade, begins to fade out there and click on OK. Now if we play the commercial, I'll go ahead and hit spacebar. And it faded in pretty quickly and it'll fade out much faster right at the very end. Um, and you notice what we have here is we have the position markers, my keyframes, over the image. Now if I get back into it and press the F2 key to get into the editor, and I take this control at the bottom and I click on the up arrow, this will display or hide the timeline. Now I can drag down and I can actually see where the keyframes were set. And if you want to do it manually, that's what we did in our previous lesson. Uh, so um, you can actually go in now if you want to and adjust it. Say, well, the fade in is a little bit sooner than I want, so I can drag it over. And uh, it just changes the numbers. But that's a really nice quick trick for uh, making an image appear and disappear simply by using the fade control, which sets keyframes all by itself. And let's try this one more time. It's coming in a little slower there. And we probably would not want to fade it out at all. <laughs> Unless we want to say, buy them before they're gone. <laughs> we hope this has been helpful for you. Thank you.